Hi everyone. Well, it's a common question. My stock has fallen. Should I sell? Or my stock has risen. Should I sell or buy more? Uh, well, let's look at the analysis. Let's get hard data. This uh, shows the returns of Apple. Okay. And shows hard data. That's, that's where we want to start. That's where you know, hedge fund starts, where we as a hedge fund manager would start. So let's have a look at it. Let's say over a one-day period, you actually got one of the more extreme moves. You got a 13% loss on Apple. Now you might say, wow, it goes down 13%. I just keep buying some more. Well, the decision has to be based upon what your strategy and timeline is. Uh, and strategy is going to be dependent on your risk profile. So let's just interpret that for a second. You're down 13%. If your strategy is very short-term and you're fearful of greater losses, then you'd actually have to sell because after five days you could be down 19 percent after 20 days you could be down 27 percent after 50 down some 37 percent okay however let's say your view is more longer term well as warren buffett and others would say if it's longer term you don't get panicked by short-term moves even though you're down 13 percent then 19 percent then 27 then 37 because you know if you hold on for 250 days the worst case scenario, most likely, most probably, is that you would be down between somewhere between 13% to up 154%. So you can see how a positively skewed, a positively returned skewed stock such as Apple, or as Buffett would say, companies which are safe and reliable, uh, would over a longer period of time increase the probability of you making back your losses but the precondition is it has to be a company which has this kind of return distribution the kind which is skewed to the right hand side and significantly positive outcomes are likely the mistake people make is they pick really bad rubbish companies uh, uh, which are skewed to the left hand side and then say oh if i hold on long enough it will come back and then they see their losses getting bigger and bigger and bigger Okay, so now, and by the way, one of the most important reasons this is important as well is because people often talk about buying the dip. And they say, oh, but how do I know when the dip's going to happen? Well, let's be clear. Look at this. Down 13% after 5 days, 19 after 20 could be 27%. After 50 could be 37%. So you might say, well, if we're looking at a dip, we better give ourselves probably closer to 50 days, maybe even closer to 100 days before we determine whether or not there is indeed a dip because it takes a lot longer uh, for the market uh, and the stock to recover now let's look at the opposite end what if we've been making money let's say we we're up 13 percent in a day should we take our profits should we add to it well we know that over five days we could have room for more of course you could move to the center ground after 20 days there's a significant probability that you're going to have made more so it would suggest you add to your winners only in the case of companies like Apple, which are skewed to the right-hand side. After 50 days, even greater probability, 100, and after 250. So here, the answer is you would add to your winning position in actual fact, subject to your risk profile. Alternatively, if you are moderate risk, uh, you may well take a pocket some profits, but it certainly wouldn't be logical, based on this data, to sell completely your positions. Add more if you're more risk loving. Take a little bit of profit if you're a bit risk averse. But it wouldn't make rational sense to completely sell out unless your strategy was very short term or you needed the money for other reasons. So that's one way to look at things. We base our decisions on hard data. If you want to learn more about these things and you haven't already had a look at it, have a look at investing-champions.com or trading-champions.com, free courses on investing and trading. Uh, if you can't remember those two, alpishpatel.com will do equally well and will take you there. Thank you very much.